Hey everybody, Homeslice Henry here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at some very fun battles in the Open Master League featuring a very spicy duo. Level 50 Latios and Latios together on the same team, both running their legacy moves. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, P. Tierney, so many thanks for the battle submission. Now for the team, as I mentioned, he has the Latios, which has Luster Purge, Latias, which is running Mistball, and as the lead, actually decided to run Triple Psychic, and has a Soul Galeo as the lead. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out the Lottie Twins in action in the Open Master League. Hopping to the first match, and we've got a tough core breaker on the lead, Solgaleo versus Palkia Origin. Palkia Origin does very well against this entire team, so already off to a tough start. Psychic Fang's debuff applied, not really going to help the fire spin damage all that much, but the more Psychic Fangs you throw, then of course the more damage you'll be able to add up over time. Nice catch onto the Latios, catching that Aqua Tail from the Palkia. Palkia going to stay in this matchup, but their defense has been debuffed. The Dragon Breaths do so much. They send in Tabu Bulu with the energy lead they gave the Latios. Latios makes the Luster Purge. Do they respect it? They do not. Massive damage to this Tabu Bulu. And if Latios wants, it can just go for a one shield farm down. Nature's Badness will, of course, come with the guaranteed defense drop, meaning whatever the opponent sends in here, which is going to be the ho -Oh, is going to be doing increased damage. So much energy on the Latios, bluffing a potential Luster Purge. Dragon Claw Bait gets the shield. Latios tries to get the max over farm and unfortunately does not get that final charge attack off. In comes the Latios. Latios unfortunately does not have the bait move available like the Latios does. Stuck with Outrage as we see a beautiful catch. Outrage and the legacy move Mist Ball. Catching the Brave Bird. Going to fire off the Psychic Fangs, the switch into the Palkia by the opponent. Psychic Fangs will pick up the KO. Back in comes the Ho-Oh, and it's going to all come down to whether Latias is going to be able to survive a Brave Bird. Firing off the Mist Ball, fishing for the defense drop. No defense drop. Can Latias survive here? Latias hit with the Brave Bird. That does big damage. Latias too bulky, withstanding the damage, farming down the opponent, and taking the win. Tough Fleets continue in the next match. Solgaleo into Landorus. The safe switch into Latios. Landorus banks the Sandseer Storm, sends in Lugia, and a bad situation gets much worse. Lugia is something that definitely needed to be baited out, but my goodness. Landorus having the Sandseer already loaded in the back, and the Lugia being able to absorb Dragon Claw after Dragon Claw. This situation is looking incredibly tough to fight back from. Opponent is going to fire off the Sky Attack. This is a very easy no shield for the Latios because you know that there's no way that you're making a play for switch advantage. And overall, the team is pretty soft to Landorus just because the team doesn't have a ground resist. Just going to send in the Solgaleo, fire off the Iron Head, but the opponent actually ends up saving the Lugia and catching back onto Landorus. Landorus shields the switch into the Latios. Latios... Honestly, tanks the Sandseer Storm quite well. So we're learning that Latios definitely has the bulk compared to Latios, whereas Latios does not appear to have that same survivability. Latios farming up energy, gonna fire off the Outrage. Unfortunately, the game stutters a little bit and it ends up being a charge attack priority tie. The Sandseer Storm will connect. Latios firing off the Outrage. Decision time for the opponent. They're gonna let the Landorus go. And their final Pokemon is revealed to be Ho-Oh, and unfortunately, this is just going to be a game over. Able to save the Latios on 1 HP, but this is looking dire, as the Solgaleo is going to get a debuff applied, but the Ho-Oh should just be able to go for 2 Sacred Fires, and this game will be over. They can go for Sacred Fire number 1. Oh, and they're actually going to go for a combo play with the Aeroblast with the Lugia. In comes the Aeroblast! Unfortunately, Solgaleo runs out of HP, and the Latias is just too low to take that game. Great lead in the next match, Solgaleo versus Dialga Origin, and the Dialga is staying in. Only reason Dialga would ever stay in here is if they're completely core broken in the back. So odds are there's probably going to be some kind of fairy type in the back that they're hoping Solgaleo is not going to get to see. Solgaleo firing off yet another Psychic Fangs, applying so much pressure onto this Dialga. Dialga will return fire with the Roar of Time. Roar of Time, massive damage. Solgaleo is going to be able to make one final Psychic Fangs, and since it's very heavily debuffed, this should be enough to knock out. Psychic Fangs into Dialga does get shielded, sending in the Latios, looking for the snipe, but the Dialga able to survive with a fraction of HP and make it to the Iron Head. 
Latios commits the shield. In comes Togekiss, and this is quite bad. This is what they were trying to hide in the back. The Solgaleo is very low. If the opponent shields this, this is trouble, but they do not respect the Luster Purge. That does massive damage, and now you can probably KO with two Fire Spins from the Solgaleo. Going to send in the Solgaleo. Oh, they live on one HP, and the Dragon Breath Snipe does not register. That's very unfortunate. Opponent went for a Blind Flamethrower, in the back, it's Kyogre. And this should be a pretty good situation for Latias, but Latias has already taken some damage. And unfortunately, Latias is very slow to get to these charge moves with only having nuke moves. The Surf is shielded. It ends up being a charge attack priority tie, firing off the Mist Ball. Mist Ball is going to be shielded. Mist Ball comes through with a clutch attack debuff, and this means that the Surf is going to be doing less damage. That might be the win con here. That debuff. Opponent tries for the catch. They don't get it. Latias makes it to the Outrage. And thanks to an extremely clutch Mist Ball debuff, Latias survives, KOs Kyogre, and takes the game. Tough lead in the next match, Solgaleo versus Shadow Mewtwo. Now, Shadow Mewtwo is typically going to be running Shadow Ball, and Shadow Ball hits the entire team for super effective. Solgaleo calls the bait. It's the Shadow Ball, nearly picking up the one-hit KO. Opponent tries for a snipe with Shadow ho -Oh, but Shadow ho -Oh will quickly be answered with Latios. Opponent farms up to a potential Sacred Fire, the shield, and it is the Sacred Fire bait. And not only that, but the Sacred Fire does give the attack drop as well. That's extremely unfortunate. Dragon Claw will connect. Latios is going to be able to win charge attack priority over the Ho-Oh, denying the Brave Bird's energy. Opponent is going to send in their final Pokemon. It is Dialga making it to the Dragon Claw, but the Dragon Breath is going to be enough to pick up the KO. And now this is looking very, very difficult. Psychic Fangs will be shielded opponent, protecting against a potential flamethrower. And now going for Psychic Fangs number two. Dialga has incentive to switch, and they do. In comes Latias, and Shadow Mewtwo, farming up, is going to fire off his charge attack. The shield by the Latias, it's a side strike bait. Can the opponent make it to the Shadow Ball? Oh my goodness, I'll be honest, I've lost count here. It is not, it is just the side strike. But there's still the issue of Latias only having expensive charge moves. Going for the Mist Ball, fishing for the attack drop. It's a 50-50 chance. The Mist Ball does get the attack drop. Latias, unfortunately, not going to be able to make it to a move. Dialga fires off the Iron Head to prevent that from happening. In comes the Solgaleo. Solgaleo gets farmed down as well. And that's game over. Positive lead in the next match, Solgaleo versus Lugia. And this is a situation where having Iron Head over something like Solar Beam is a definite help. As Iron Head will be able to provide consistent neutral damage. Solgaleo over farming and playing to charge attack priority as the Lugia is going to make it to an Aeroblast. Aeroblast is resisted, but it's a very powerful move. Opponent full sends the Aeroblast and it connects and the opponent gets the boost. It's a very low chance of Aeroblast boosting, but when it does, things get quite scary. As now Lugia, not only known for its bulk, is going to be outputting a lot more damage than it typically would. The Sky Attack is going to grab the shield. Over farm massively here. Solgaleo commits to the farm down and gets it with a fraction of HP. What is the opponent going to send in? They're going to have to deal with a lot of energy here. It's the Kyogre. Kyogre unfortunately does actually get their fast move denied. A waterfall should have gone through there. Opponent in the back. They have Palkia, but it's not the Palkia I was expecting to see. It's the OG Palkia, not the Palkia Origin. Palkia taking quite a lot of damage. Opponent is going to be able to get a full farm down. This is this is going to be very tough. Is the Solgaleo healthy enough to survive the Dragon Breath? Not going to risk it. Just going to send in the Latias as Palkia fires off the Draco Meteor. Latias gets the farm down. Back in comes Kyogre. And this is going to be difficult. Again, because Latias is just so slow to these charge moves. Latias fires off the Mist Ball, the shield from Kyogre. Kyogre, unfortunately, does not get its attack debuffed. They go for the Origin Pulse. Latias is able to hang on. Latias looking for the farm down, getting the farm down on 1 HP. Turns out didn't even need the energy on Solgaleo. That is not a fun lead in the next match. Solgaleo versus Zygarde, the safe switch into Latios. Opponent staying in this matchup. Latios going to make them pay for that decision as it fires off the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw no shielded by Zygarde. Zygarde going to go for the crunch, and we see the immediate shield from the Latios. Crunch, 
does get the defense drop. That is very unlucky. Latios at the last possible second will fire off Dragon Claw number two. Is the opponent willing to match shields? The answer is no. They're just going to let it through. Send in Kyogre. And now, unfortunately, I mean, you got rid of the Zygarde, but there's a Kyogre that Zogaleo also cannot deal with. So you're forced to send in Latios. Latias, farming up energy opponent, is going to farm up to a potential Origin Pulse or a Thunder. Latias will no shield. It's the Origin Pulse, and that will hit for substantial damage. Firing off the Mist Ball, fishing for a potential attack drop. Mist Ball connects. Opponent gets KO'd in the back. They have Landorus, and this is going to be a very tough game to win. I do like the decision to shield the Latias, as Latias does have the best fast move pressure remaining. Going to send in the Solgaleo now, and Solgaleo will immediately be met with the Sandseer Storm. Sandseer Storm connects, massive damage, Solgaleo now building up to the Iron Head and firing off the Psychic Fangs. Psychic Fangs, no shielded opponent calling that it's not the Iron Head, but now another Psychic Fangs is thrown. Opponent forced to commit the shield, and they have to double up here, and they're unable to do so. The Solgaleo is going to get knocked out. The question is, can the Dragon Breaths KO here? They cannot. The opponent on 1 HP takes the win, and the recording cuts out right as they make the move. A familiar lead in the next match, Solgaleo versus Lugia, but definitely a welcome lead after some of these leads have been absolutely awful for the Lion. Solgaleo going to farm up, fire off this Iron Head, Iron Head connects, dealing some nice damage, and the Purified Apex Lugia does look incredible in battle. Aeroblast connects, Lugia gets the boost again! The other Lugia boosted too! What are these odds? Oh my goodness, that is so unfortunate! Iron Head is going to connect. Opponent now firing off a boosted Sky Attack. And Solgaleo is going to commit the shield. That is absolutely atrocious luck. Facing two Lugias. And they both end up boosting. Getting the farm down with one HP. In comes Ho-Oh. Able to fire off a Psychic Fangs. But unfortunately the Incinerate does go through. And it's a Shadow Ho-Oh at that. Oh my. They're going to go straight for the Brave Bird. Shadow Ho-Oh kind of commands the final shield. But down two shields. This is going to be really tough, because it's not a Shadow Pokemon in the back, it's Dialga, and this is just game over, unfortunately. Whether it's the standard Dialga, or the origin Dialga, Dialga in the 2-0 just, just beats everything in the Master League. If you're ever able to get yourself in that position, you're just in a completely one spot. In comes the Latias, Latias would love to get to a move, but Dialga will never ever let that happen. Dialga running thunder of all things. Hold on a second. Can you get to a move? Yes, making it to the move. The Dialga not running Draco Meteor and that ends up costing them in a massive way. In comes the Ho-Oh. And the important thing was he threw the Outrage at the last possible second there. Is this going to be? Oh my goodness. It is charge attack priority there. Dragon Claw picks up the KO. That's a game I thought was completely over, but the opponent not running the correct moveset of Draco Meteor, and that ends up costing them in a massive way. Tough lead returns in the next match. Sogaleo into Shadow Mewtwo, but it's not tough if they don't build up to a Shadow Ball. That's an easy no shield on a Psy Strike. I don't know if the opponent ended up misclicking there, because even if you don't have Shadow Ball, you do want a bluff that you do in fact have it. Solgaleo farming up a ton of energy. Opponent actually did build up to it, but if they didn't build up the first time, I was gonna say there's no way they have it, but the opponent just pulled the greatest switcheroo in Go Battle League history, saying, nah, there's no way I have a Shadow Ball, and then smacking him with a Shadow Ball. Oh my goodness, that is so unfortunate. In comes Latios, answered with the Landorus. Landorus commits the shield and massively over farms. Latios can survive any one move here. Opponent goes for the Stone Edge, looking for the damage to try and put it into farm down range, but Latios barely able to hang on. Dragon Claw is going to be no shielded by Dialga, and Latias has its work cut out for it here, trying to farm down Dialga Origin. Dialga hitting for super effective, Latias only hitting for neutral, Latias trying to make it to the Mist Ball and fish for that 50% chance at an attack drop. Mist Ball is going to be no shielded by the Dialga, in comes the Landorus, Landorus is going to be able to start spamming out Sandseer Storms. Landorus goes for the Sandseer Storm. Latios continuing to farm. Latios just cannot get to the move. The question is, how healthy is Latios? Latios still has a little bit of HP. The Latios on one HP takes the win. There have been a couple battles here that I thought were completely doomed. 
but there have been some truly glorious endgame clutches. Final game, and it's not looking good at the start leading into Palkia. We saw that in the first battle of the video. Palkia is a big problem for this team. Solgaleo firing off the Psychic Fangs. Looks like the opponent is content to just throw on alignment. So a pretty easy catch of the Aqua Tail onto the Latios. Latios going to absorb that energy. Opponent sends in the Dialga. Oh no. The ABA Dragon team. And this team really does not appreciate teams like that as Dialga is going to get the full farm down. And unfortunately, the Solgaleo has already taken so much damage. Even Dragon Breath plus an Iron Head would threaten the Solgaleo from here. Solgaleo will fire off the Psychic Fangs. Psychic Fangs no shielded by the Dialga. Dialga firing off energy. Solgaleo calling the bait. It's the roar of time. Goodbye, Solgaleo. And now Latias has to try in 1v3. And this is going to be a tall task considering there's a Solgaleo waiting for it in the back. And this is unfortunately just going to be game over. Firing off the Outrage. Outrage, oh man, that just does nothing to the Solgaleo. Solgaleo, Psychic Fang sends in the Palkia. Poor Latias tried its best. Not a single shield used on either side. And that's game over. All in all, big thanks to this battler for sending in these battles. I don't think I've ever seen either Lottie twin powered up to level 50. So seeing them both in one video was very entertaining. Seeing both really puts into perspective the difference that a moveset can make. Latios having the bait move of Dragon Claw and Luster Purge compared to Latias, which is stuck with only nukes. Would love to see Latias get a bait move at some point in the future so it could behave a lot more competently as a Pokemon. Whereas Latios having the bait and then the high energy, high damage nuke of Luster Purge has a pretty incredible moveset. It does still have its limitations in the Master League, of course, being more a spice pick than a Mon for climbing, but... The moveset wise, it's very good. So I would love to see Latios get a similar treatment. I don't know if it learns Dragon Claw in the main series or Breaking Swipe or something like that, but something cheaper. Because as we've seen with Salamence previously, having an Outrage or an Outrage clone as your cheapest move just really ends up being rough if your opponent has any amount of shields remaining. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.